What's up, dudes and dudettes? All you awesome people, Harry Heathen here, and welcome to a new series I'm doing. The series is called Chitter Chatter, where I just chat about whatever is on my mind. Chitter Chatter. Episode 1. Five exciting shows coming to Netflix because I'm excited. So, one of these shows is actually already out and the rest are coming soon or coming this year. Now, it's not just shows, there's a film in there as well, which I'm excited about. Number 5. The Punisher. Now, I'm really excited to see The Punisher. When is it going to be released though? When is it going to be released? Please give us a release date. I keep seeing all these teaser trailers, and then I heard about it might not be released until next year because of the Defenders being released. And it's like, come on, guys, I want to see it. So I watched Daredevil. I wasn't really fussed with Daredevil, uh, but when Punisher came into it, I was like, wow, this is this is an awesome character. I really want to see more of this. So, what a great actor as well, huh? John Burnfall. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I loved him in Walking Dead, absolutely brilliant. And it almost plays a similar character, but it's just so good. It's just so good, the Punisher is. Um, but that's in at number five on my list, so I'll go through this list pretty quickly for you. I don't really know too much about the Punisher, which is why I can't really talk too much about it. Um, obviously, I know the story through what I've seen, the Daredevil, and I'm really excited to see a whole series just about the Punisher, just so I can see the whole story in depth and find out more about the Punisher. I mean, I remember watching the Punisher film when the film was out years ago, and it was pretty good. Quite enjoyed it, but you know, it's nothing like the series. Netflix doing a good job, keep it up. But in at number four on the list is Marvel Defenders. Now, this show is already out on Netflix. I just haven't watched it yet. I'm waiting till next week when I'm gonna binge watch as much of it as I can. Probably the whole lot, I'm hoping. I hope it's all released. It's not one of these ones where they release an episode every week. In which case, I'll probably catch up really soon enough to wait. <laughs> uh, but The Defenders looks amazing. So you got Matt Murdock, as in Daredevil. Nah, yeah, it's all right. It's uh, not exactly one of my favorites. Um, I did watch it, I uh, did enjoy it, it just, I just wasn't that fussed with it really. Maybe I'm just not really a big Daredevil fan. Uh, maybe, maybe I should watch it again, I don't know. Uh, but So Daredevil in it, Matt Murdock, Jessica Jones. Now Jessica Jones, that was an awesome show. I absolutely loved this series and I loved the bad guy in it. I mean, that was some scary bad guy. I mean, the show was looked like a psychological thriller. It was really good. Uh, I really liked the force of it. It was really good. Um, really good, really good, really good. That's all I can say. <laughs> so, Jessica Jones, look forward to seeing her in Marvel Vendors. Luke Cage. Yeah, I look forward to seeing him. Uh, I enjoyed the series. I did watch Luke Cage series. I did kind of think to myself, is it a little bit slow of a series? And I kind of think, you know, Luke, you're like a really, really strong, super tough guy. Why, why are you not doing more superhero stuff? Why are you just sitting around all the time? He should be doing a lot more. <laughs> uh, maybe that's me. I don't know. I just kind of thought he should be doing more. I, I, I expected to see more, but I didn't see as much as I wanted to see. But uh, I'd like to meet Jessica Jones, who's good in that. Hopefully, Defenders will be good as well. And Danny Rand, Iron Fist. Oh, now we're talking. So that is my favorite Marvel show that's on Netflix, alongside with Jessica Jones. I absolutely loved Iron Fist. It's really bizarre, I don't know why, but Danny Rand, he really, really reminds me of Arrow, those of you who watched the Arrow series. I'm not sure what it is. It's not like he's running around with bows and arrows. It's just, there's something about him, and something about this series, the way it's put together reminds me of Arrow but really enjoyable and I watched all that and I was just like, wow, it's over already, I need more Iron Fist. So that's one of the reasons why I'm really, really looking forward to watching Defenders. Also, Sigourney Weaver's in it. 
I mean, come on, I lost the Winnie Weaver. This is going to be a really good show, and I am super excited. So, that is number four on the list. Number three on my list Star Trek Discovery. Now, I wouldn't class myself as a Trekkie. <laughs> uh, I do like Star Trek. I, I didn't really grow up with Star Trek. I mean, I mean, well, I had like the later gen generations, you know, Luke Picard was my captain when I grew up, sort of thing. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I, did, I didn't watch the series really. I, watched, I have watched the series. It has been on TV when I was younger, I was on. Uh, I have gone back and watched some of it. Uh, they're good. Yeah, I like Star Trek. But what's really got me to Star Trek is the new releases. Um, I will have to find out who the director is. Actually, I think it's J.J. Abrams. I could very well be mistaken. Don't quote me on that. So the new Star Trek's really, really enjoy them. Uh, Simon Pegg, I think, I'm sure he's had something to do with the writing of it. And so, I, but I've really enjoyed the whole new Star Trek's. Absolutely amazing. From what I've heard about this new one, I'm not sure whereabouts it is in the timeline. Though that this apparently it's ten years before Kirk went on his five-year mission. Um, okay, it's a bit in the past, but apparently it could be that the. I've heard what I've read online, they could just be lying to us and try and trick us, we don't know whereabouts it's going to be in a timeline, or it could be that they go through some sort of poor dimension and it's in its own timeline, its own dimension somewhere, uh, like other Star Trek series have done. I haven't really watched many Star Trek series, uh, I did watch Voyager when that came out, I quite liked Voyager, but I'm looking forward to this. And some of the actors I got in this, wow, Netflix, you guys are doing well. So uh, you've got, oh, what is her name? Sasha from The Walking Dead, uh, Soika Martin Green. Uh, so look forward to seeing how she gets on this because I've only seen her in The Walking Dead. I haven't seen her in any other shows. I'm sure, I'm sure she probably has been in other shows, um, but I've seen her in The Walking Dead, liked her in that. She plays Sasha really well. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. The main trailer seems to be a lot about her. I was just like, okay, is, is this a series about her? But she's not the captain. The captain is Jason Isaacs. Now, Jason Isaacs is Lucius Malfoy to me. <laughs> I can't help but look at him and just see Lucius Malfoy. So it's gonna be really strange, I mean, captains, as far as I've seen in Star Trek, have always been good. Is this guy gonna be a bad guy? <laughs> uh, I doubt it. But I'm looking forward to see how he portrays it and how he plays it. And I'm gonna try to stop looking at him as Lucius Malfoy every time I see it. <laughs> um, who else have we got in there? Oh, Michelle Yeoh. Pronouncing that wrong. Michelle Yeoh, Michelle Yeoh. Crash and Tiger, Hidden Dragon, really famous Kung Fu. I hope it's Kung Fu. Well, the martial arts, those sort of things. Uh, so it's got a really, really famous cast in there straight away. The top three, there's, there's more in there as well. I'll go into much details here. But I'm kind of really looking forward to it. But I'm also a little bit in reserve because I'm like, oh, is it going to be like an original Star Trek? So it's going to be a bit boring. Sit there, listen to them. Bring me up, Scotty. <laughs> but I'm excited because of the new because of the new films. That's why I'm excited because I absolutely love the new films. And I'm hoping this is as good as, if not better, than the new films. And it's a series, so I can watch a lot of it. That's number three on my list. Numero two on my list. Number two. Bright. Wow, this looks good. So this is a film with Will Smith in it on Netflix. Netflix exclusive. Now, I watched the trailer for this and this looks amazing. So Will Smith who plays a human and you have Joel Egerton playing an orc. Uh, it's pretty, just to explain it to you, for those of you who haven't seen the trailer for it, it is a mythical world. So you have elves, fairies, orcs, fairy godmothers, wands, I don't know, all sorts of anything mythical, but in the modern world. So it's as though all the fairy tales that I'm sure everyone grew up with, everyone's heard, read, or at least seen some part of it in a film or TV show, all the fairy tales, it's as though they are correct, they're real, but it's in the modern times now, and you have orcs. Uh, Will Smith plays a police officer, and his new partner is an orc, and he's our oh, great partner with an orc. But it looks like the show is about them finding 
some sort of creature. I assume she's an elf. She looks like an elf. She has the little pointed ears, <laughs> and she find they find her in some sort of bust up somewhere, and she has a magic wand. Apparently, wands are very rare, and they're almost like they in the trailer they describe it as a nuclear weapon, because whoever gets hold of it can use it for good or evil. So it's a bit scary to have her lying around, but. It looks really, really good. I love fantasy films. Absolutely big, big fan of fantasy films. Uh, and fantasy in the modern world, done well, can be brilliant. Look at the Harry Potters. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm looking forward to Bright because the trailer, it looks so good. So that is why it's in at number two. But it's not top of the list. In at the top of my list, number one. Stranger Things Season 2! Yes! Come on! I am really excited for Season 2. I watched Season 1, absolutely loved it. Oh well, got a 1980s nostalgia going on here. I absolutely love Stranger Things. Those of you who have not seen it, why? Why? Why have you not seen it? It is such a great show. It's just so good. I cannot describe it. Uh, I recently rewatched it again as well. I watched it when it first came out, and I recently rewatched it. I forgot just how scary that actually is, because it's got the nostalgia, the '80s feel to it, and almost like a Goonies film. You know that sort of feel, the characters, and I forgot just how scary it actually is. So season two. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I've got so many questions which I want to ask in season two. Uh, I'm looking forward to find out about Will. Is he still connected to the other world? Because in the trailer he's having these flashbacks. Now, is it is it just flashbacks or is he somehow connected to that world? That's what I want to know of Will. And I also want to know where is Eleven? I know she's going to come back. She's got to come back. Where is she? Where did she go? What's happening? The portal. Is, is, is it still open? Is this world like gonna, the other world gonna overpower into our world? I've got so many questions I want to know about that. And I've got such good actors. Those kids do an amazing job. Absolutely amazing job. Um, all of them, as char the characters, I love all the characters. The kids are brilliant now. They do such a good job. Uh, <laughs> they're just so funny. It's just like the Goonies, it's like this team of kids just having great fun playing Dungeons and Dragons and then this happens in real life. It's like, whoa, what is going on? David Harbour, who plays the uh, Chief, I can't remember his name, Chief Hopper. <laughs> he is the new Hellboy. For those of you who have not seen the pics out, just Google it now. Now, I'm a big Ron Perlman fan. And I was like, why is Ron Perlman not going to be Hellboy? But then... I did see the new pick and I thought, wow, David Harbour could do a real good job of this. <laughs> and after seeing him in a few film, films out and a few series, I think, yeah, he probably could do a really good job and I'm looking forward to seeing that. So, number one, Stranger Things. Just a quick recap. So, five, The Punisher, coming soon. Don't know when it's coming. Apparently it's coming this year, maybe coming next year. Apparently this year, maybe next year, this year, next year, who knows. But Punisher, number five. Number four, Marvel's The Defenders, out now. So I'm gonna look forward to that. I'm gonna binge watch that all next week. Uh, trying my hardest not to see any trailers or anything about it. I don't want anyone to tell me about the storyline because I want to find out myself. In at number three, Star Trek Discovery, the 25th of September, this is released. So I'll be watching that then. That's another show to watch. Now that Game of Thrones is finished, I'm just kind of waiting for shows. <laughs> uh, number two, Bright, which is December the 22nd, and I shall be watching it on December the 22nd. I'm looking forward to it because it looks really good. Hopefully the trailers hasn't given away all the best bits and all the action bits, and the rest of it's a bit boring, but I'm sure it will be good. And Will Smith battering that fairy at the beginning of the, of the trailer. Wow, it's a bit brutal start, but hey. Funny start as well though, the gangsters on the lawn next to him, love that. And number one on the list, Stranger Things, October 27th. Uh, I'm just going to be watching that. I'm not going to be answering any calls, any emails. I'm not going to be filming anything for YouTube. I'm just going to be watching Stranger Things. And then maybe I'll film afterwards. <laughs> uh, what do you think guys? Do you think I should do a review on these shows when they come out? Should I do a review 
episode by episode or should I do it at the end of the series? Uh, you guys let me know. Comment below. And uh, see that subscribe button. Well, if it's red, there's actually a unique YouTube feature where you can change the colour of it. Just click it. It's no longer red. Once you've done that, click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload. But this has been episode one of Chitter Chatter. Till next time, guys. Take care. <laughs>